Number two, he came to destroy the works of, of the devil. Let's see verse 8 of the same first John. Verse 8. He came to destroy the works of Satan. Apart from becoming the sin bearer. Number two, he came to destroy the works of Satan. Can you bring verse 8? Look at verse 8. Can we read together one to go? He that committed sin is of the what? Of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might do what? Destroy the works of the devil. Somebody shouts hallelujah. This was the second reason for his coming. To destroy the works of Satan. Now listen to this. After the fall of the first man, after the fall of, of the first Adam, after the fall of the first Adam, sin entered into the world. Please give me your attention. Through the fall of Adam, the first Adam, because we have the first Adam, we have the second Adam. The first Adam was the man who fed in the garden of Eden. The second Adam was Christ. So after the fall of the first Adam, through disobedience, certain things entered into this world because before now, the world was highly immune. There was no death. There was no sickness. Am I communicating? There's nothing like attack. Adam and Eve, they were living in the garden of Eden, highly immune, highly preserved and protected. It was when they fell from the glory that evil entered. That was how death entered. That was how any evil you can talk about, that was how it entered into the world. Praise God. So, when the second Adam came, who was Jesus, one of the reasons why the father sent him was to go and destroy the works of Satan. So what are the works of Satan? Premature death, sickness, uncurable diseases, arise and fall, poverty, lack. Praise God. Am I communicating? Of which, you know, when you study Genesis chapter 3, you discover that God caused even the ground as a result of the rebellious attitude of Adam and Eve. Am I communicating here? God has to cause the ground. I say from now the cost, the ground is caused. And because of that cause, God pronounced that a man will sweat before he will enjoy anything. He said a man will sweat. That man will struggle, toil. Before he will enjoy anything. Because he has caused the ground. But when Jesus came. Please give me your attention. When Jesus came. About to be crucified. God began to handle things prophetically. So the, the Roman soldiers. They went to the earth. If you can pay attention. You will do yourself good. The Roman soldiers went to the earth, to the ground. You remember that the ground was cursed. Oh, they are not hearing this. Are you following now? I showed you that the ground was cursed. That one of the causes in Genesis chapter 3. God himself said that the earth will produce tongues and teso. Ogu na kekara. Have you gone to a place in our cousins they gave for chamburok? No chanimala. Teso. You know, such a land that are not the fat eye. Am I communicating? Or not the fat eye? All you need to guess that the earth is going to produce Oguna Akika. Tons and Teso. Meaning, these two things represent poverty and lack. That ton, Ogu, and this Teso represent lack. It represents suffering. It represents toiling and struggle. Sweating. Before somebody eats, the person has to sweat. No progress. No, pro no blessing. That is the prophetic sign of that case. 
But look at what God did. When you understand this, you will serve God genuinely. I'm not saying you are not serving God. But there is a way you are going to pour your life into your service of the master. Now look at this. The Roman soldiers, now, they began to make mockery of Christ because remember they said that Jesus was the king of the Jews. Are you following? So they began to make mockery. So out of mockery, mockery, look at the king, look at the king. The king, look at the king, he's on the cross. Look at the king, he cannot even help himself. The one that says he's this or that, he cannot help himself. You know, they were mocking. So they went to the earth and took the earth. He gubala. Gubota ogu. Gubota dos tesos. Murogu nochanimal. Are you following? So they use it and produce a crown. So since you say you are a king, can you wear this ogwa usaginishi wear mega kacha? Please, are you still here? That is why when certain things begin to happen in your life, don't kill yourself. You are a prophetic child. There are certain things that will begin to happen in your life. You may not actually like it, but God is working out something. The Bible says, if the princess of this world had known, they wouldn't have crucified Christ. In fact, God is going to use your enemies to bring you to greatness. Am I, am I talking good here? Now look at this. Why they were mocking Christ? They never knew that God was using them, using them for an assignment. So they have to talk the earth. He guba la gubu togu. Gubu ta ma morobu no channel. We were there, we ba obu. Are you still here? They use it to produce crown. We they say like that. So okay. They were laughing, making jest of Christ, mocking him. And say, ah, oh, uh, the king of Jews. Oh, yes, see, Abona. Of course, see that even Cabron calls. Today, I get she gets it. I want to get she gets it. Can you rope Bogu? We put a sagging issue. We share gets it. But they were never knew that God was doing something. When they carry the, 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 the crown made of the thorn, we put a sagging issue. Ufuni Mahawesi, one of them said, it's not enough. Bring rod. Let us use it to hit the, the, the tongue so that the thing will enter inside his skulls. So they placed the crown on his head. One of them brought the rod. They use it and hit the, the, the crown made from tongues. So their tongues pierced the skull of Jesus. Entered and blood started gushing out. Are you still here? So immediately the blood came. The blood flew out from the head of Jesus and immediately touched the ground. Immediately that blood from the head of Jesus touched the ground. The ground was delivered from the cause that the Father pronounced against it. This is how your glory has been restored. This is how the crown of your glory has been restored. That is what the redemption package is all about. Because somebody has paid price that you're supposed to pay. Are you still here? This is how to operate in territorial dominion. Every territory can submit to you when you understand the crown mystery. The crown blood mystery. The blood that came out from the head of Jesus. Because it has delivered the ground. So you who is a redeemed child of God. You should now walk with the victory mentality. Somebody is not hearing me now. You must walk with what I call victory words. Now listen to this. You don't fight the devil. Hello. Are you still here? You don't fight the devil. Devil. This morning, <laughs> that is not prayer. Let me teach you how to pray and get victory. First Corinthians 15, 57. Look at this. I hope I'm not wasting your time. Are you getting something? Look at this scripture. Can we read it? But thanks be to God, which gave it us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, how do you pray? 
you must stand from your victory position to claim what Christ had already achieved for you. Listen, you are not praying to succeed. You are a successful person who is trying to enjoy your success. Oh, yeah, you didn't hear me now. Now listen, there is difference between somebody who has a car but he doesn't know how to drive it and somebody who doesn't have who doesn't have car at all. I did the same. Please, are you are you getting something? Somebody has a car. The only challenge is that he has not started enjoying it. And somebody doesn't have a car at all. Are they the same? Are they in the same position? They are not in the same position. This one has car, but he has not started enjoying it because he needs to learn how to do what? Drive. Now, when these two people are praying, would their prayer points be the same? This one will be praying as somebody who doesn't have a car. This one will be asking God for understanding when he goes to learn how to drive. Oh my God, am I saying something? So their prayer points, they are not the same. So, out of ignorance, we pray wrong prayers. We are praying like people who don't have anything at all. And God is saying, what kind of people are these? You don't pray and say, God, uh, 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 God, oh Lord, I know I will be healed. That's a wrong prayer. Because the Bible says, by his stripes, you are healed. So what do you do when you are sick? Lord, I claim my healing. I claim my... Now, the essence of faith is to make what Christ has already done for you more than 2,000 years ago. Through faith, you bring it into reality. You make it to come, you, to, to manifest now. Please, am I teaching here? So you don't say, God, I know you, I know you will heal me. That is a wrong prayer. Before the sickness came, Christ has already healed you through the wounds he sustained on the way to Gogota. Then when your faith comes up higher, you cannot lay hands on somebody who is sick. He said, in the name of Jesus, be healed because of the level of your faith. Now, you are not praying doubting. You are not praying doubting. Because your assurance and your confidence is in the finished work of Christ. You know that what you are asking for has been done already. So you use faith to make it to come to reality now. Oh. Do you see how to walk in the realm of miracles? So even some people who don't understand this, is, when they see a man of God walking in some realms, say, which is charm. Everything charm. Everything devil for them. Because they know charm. They have been going to have this. So they think that everybody goes to have this. Because that are work. So we need light. That is why our team for next year says, My year of higher light. My year of higher light. For maximum results and preservation. Ladies and gentlemen, the more your light increases, the more you can see things the way God sees them. I want, oh, you are not hearing this. Wait, let me teach us. Inside two rooms, inside two rooms, this is room A, this is room B. And the tenant in room A didn't pay for light. He didn't pay for light B. The landlord came in the evening, caught a wire. There is light. But you know because the wire is caught, there will be no light in that room. Am I teaching good here? So, light is on. That somebody doesn't have light does not mean that there is no light. That somebody is not blessed does not mean that there is no blessing of God. In the same yard, Nepa is on. The other neighbor in room B has a light. Room A has no light because there's no wire. The blessings of God is available, but there's no wire to connect. <laughs> so what is that wire? Faith, knowledge. You need knowledge to connect.
relate to all that Christ has done for you. It doesn't matter how long you have gone to church. You can go to church for 30 years and yet there's no light. Because I can tell you from experience, there are people that go to church to play around and joke around and do their own business. Even in the days of Jesus, they were selling pigeons inside the church, exchanging money inside the church. So they didn't come for the business of their master. They came for their own self-centered and selfish business. Light. Next year, you must open yourself for higher light. Yes, sir. This is how, when you understand this, you discover whom you are as a Christian. Yes, sir. Now, let me teach you something. You don't pray to get victory. The victory has been given to you through the finished work of Christ. You should be praying from the position of your victory, making your claims. He didn't hear this. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to this. Somebody's father was rich. Please give me your ear. Somebody's father was rich. Owns everything. Has money in different banks. Has buildings everywhere. Their father was too rich. And this child, before he grew up, before he grew up, their father, the parents had already died. But before they died, they wrote a will. They wrote a will and gave it to his brother. And see, in case my child grew up, please give him this document so that he will know what to claim. Oh, are you still here? Are you still here? So this child grew up, the uncle did not even tell him anything. He has to hide the documents. So the child was moving about like a poor woman being when his father was rich. Give me your attention. Did you know that this guy who was poor was supposed to be rich? In fact, he's rich. Oh, they are not following. Eh? Do you know that the boy who was moving about as a poor person begging for bread, begging for mineral, is a multi-billionaire? Why was he poor when he is rich? Why was that guy poor? Please, are you following the story? Why was he poor even though he was rich? Eh? He was walking in darkness. That darkness is ignorance. He never knew that his father was rich. He never knew that his father kept a lot of properties and money here and there in banks. As far as the uncle did not tell him, the boy was ignorant of the truth and the facts. So the boy will come and say, ah, please, can you give me five naira there? But this is a working multi-billionaire. But he was living in poverty because of what he didn't know. Bring for me First Corinthians. Is this first? First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Look at what the devil is doing. That was what the uncle of that boy did to him. Can you be fast? 2 Corinthians 4.4 4. Look at this. Look at this. Let's read it. One to go. Satan, who is the God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They are unable to do what? See the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ who is the exact likeness of God. Now, the target of the devil is your light. Not your shoe. Not your car. Your light. And what is that light? He doesn't want you to have understanding of the word of God. Because the word of God is that light that will break you out of anything you have found yourself into. He has to make sure that they don't get light. Somebody shout amen. So the uncle did not show the boy the documents for years. The guy was just begging here and there, begging here and there. Until one day, the sister of the father visited them. Praise God. And the sister of the father knew everything. And then one day he called the boy and said, has, your, has my brother, your uncle, told you about... So, so, 
so and so. The boy said no. The lady laughed. The, the woman now told the boy everything about his father. Are you following? By that information, the eyes of the boy light has come. That's what you gain when you come to service. Why you don't go to a service? Devil did not want you to get light. That's why on Sunday, tiredness will come. You get she will rise. She will fail. After the auntie educated the young man, the young man now calm down and say, Ah, ah. So I'm a working multi millionaire, but begging for bread. The uncle came back one day. Cars are filled everywhere, but they don't allow the guy to drive even one. The young man called the uncle and said, Uncle, I want to discuss with you. The uncle came into the palace and said, Hey, come, come, boy, come, sit down. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be fast because I have an appointment with business partners. Which business? No, be the father's business. He said, Uncle, thank you so much for all you have been doing. But I want to ask you a question. All the while I'm here, you have never told me who, who is my father. I only knew that you are a brother to my father. My brother is your elder brother. Please, please sir, was my father rich or poor before he died? You know, that when light a come, you become another entity. Am I communicating here? Devil can only control somebody who is who is living in ignorance of what Christ has done for him. They began to discuss. He says, sir, without wasting time, I discovered that these two places where we are living, my father built it. I discovered that my father has business in this city, in this city, in this city, in this city. I equally discovered that my father has millions in different bank accounts. Sir, I would like you to, to give me the document. I discovered that my father wrote a will. And fact, sir, whether you want to release it or not, I have discovered the lawyer that my father had informed in case I grew up and go to court. That lawyer will come to court and give me what belongs to me. Do you know one thing? Jesus became your lawyer who is seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for the church. So what have you asked? What have you said from your mouth? Some of us here in the one one my fallen. That is not that shouldn't be you. Your father cannot happen to you when you understand what Christ has done for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The uncle after today you will catch a higher light. Devil will suffocate. The devil will understand that you are no more that woman. You are no more that man. He, he, he used to handle anyhow. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Somebody shout hallelujah. The uncle, when he mentioned about the lawyer, the uncle said, sorry, I would have told you before now. But you know, anytime I want to talk to you, I don't know, something will come over me. I will not. That's Concambo story. Immediately, pia, pia, pia. the guy went to the lawyer. The lawyer said it's true. In fact, part of the document is in our chamber here. When do you want to claim what belongs to you? The boy said, Can you go when? Only call my uncle. So I will call it tomorrow. Somebody is receiving liberty in less than 24 hours after today. Somebody is getting into another level. Somebody is getting into another flow of favor. If I hear your amen, receive it under 24 hours. That is what happened to you when light comes. Yes, sir. And then the next day they went to court. And uh, it was read out in the court. Everything was handed over back to the boy. This was a boy in a your granite. A boy and are your bread, and are your bones, are your, are your this and that. And the guy became landlord. The uncle, your brother, said, Because if you go, ever he be no, all those your own, because permit is I can be the The guy said, Okay, I am taking this two place to give to you and your wife and your children. Uh, after all, you are my brother. Make you stay here. I will relocate to another place. Now come and see. The guy now, by Keke. 
na agazi with expensive Range Rover Sports. Na wardrobe we change eh? Perfume we change. Before they shop, but now it's expensive perfume. God is changing somebody's aroma. Aya. God is changing your level. God is changing your level. God is changing your aroma. Can I hear somebody shout amen like thunder? Such a thing will happen to you as you cross over 2023. I see another level of blessings, another level of influence. Can I hear a better amen like thunder? Ah! Because you are getting higher lights. God will show you things that you don't know. What the enemy had hidden from you, God is going to reveal them to you. Make sure that you walk with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Ghost is the revealer of hidden things. That's one of the mystery, one of the ministries of the Holy Spirit is to reveal. The Bible says, No eye have seen, no ear had heard. Neither they have thought about the things that God had in plan for them that love Him. So, how will you know if it is not revealed to you? So, it is the Holy Spirit who reveals the things that eye cannot see, things that ear cannot hear, things that heart cannot understand. Begin to walk, sit down, begin to have intimacy with the Holy Ghost, and watch your life. Your life will change. Tremendously, you will experience dramatic turnaround because there are many things that are hidden that are supposed to make your life colorful. It is the Holy Spirit that will reveal it to you. Somebody shout, Amen. In fact, Jesus said, Another comforter is coming. It is very expedient, very important that I leave because if I leave, the second comforter shall come. He shall teach you, He shall guide you, He shall. So, the ministry of the Holy Spirit is to teach you. It is to reveal things to you that will make your life colorful. Today, I pray somebody will have access for revelation. Can I hear a better amen? amen? And I stretch forth my hand that every works of Satan that Jesus has destroyed, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. 